All right, guys, we're back again with another episode of Mike P's Teas and Such. We have a delivery that I was not expecting today until this morning, and I saw the notification on my uh, text messages. So the P Transvelicus and the Death Stalker are here. So we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing video, and let's see how they are. Okay, so. The box is taller than my tripod will allow, but I just wanted to do this to show everyone that it is unopened and I will have to put it down for a second. My phone so that I can actually open this thing and then we'll come back to it. So, right off the bat, good job, bud. Let you know. That just seems more professional to me, especially the styrofoam. It's something we're going to get from actual people that ship this constantly. Or professionally, I guess I could say. Oh, well, that is pretty damn awesome. I only ordered two, so you know what that means. We got a freebie. So here is, oh, and they're all taped together too. So we got P. Transvelicus. Oh, he gave me two. Awesomeness. All right. What is that, third? So I got a third instar and a second instar P. Transvelicus. All right. And then, of course, I cannot pronounce that. So that is our third in-star Death Stalker. So let me put these guys down and uh, get this box off the table. And make sure there is nothing else in here. There is not. Awesome. here and some scissors so I can cut these apart okay so we have my trusty Sterilite container for obvious reasons these are highly venomous ooh, highly venomous scorpions these are all level fives and they can all put a hurting on you no small kids no uh, older people and definitely don't let them don't let your animals get near these things I think I got pretty lucky with Rosie she absolutely has no interest in any of the inverts uh, whether they be tarantula scorpion true spider does not matter she doesn't care Alright, so first off, we are going to do the Death Stalker. And uh, I would be lying to you guys if I did not say I was a little bit nervous when I'm handling the higher level scorpions. I do my best to actually treat all my scorpions as if they could potentially kill me. I feel that it uh, by doing it that way, I can... Well, not completely, but I really, really, really dumbed down the possibility of mistakes and uh, pretty much cancel out all bad habits. Okay, so oh, this is how I'm going to do this. Pop this little lid here. Sure you guys can see that. 
And this is why I have two pairs of tongs. Let us see. This is, yeah, third end star. I am not good yet with guessing actual size by end star reference. But, oh, I see him, and I know you guys can't yet, but he, it looks good. Let us see. Oh, here, let me just put him in the cup here. Oh, okay, get that out of there. He does not want to go where I want him to go, obviously. I hope the other two are a little easier to do than this guy because he has crawled all the way inside the folds of the tissue and I have to unravel the entire thing with my incredibly shaky hands oh there he is and let us see if we can't get him in this little temp cup for right now. This is what I will be putting him in. And he is going to make me chase him. Okay, so this guy's been extremely difficult. There you go. That is all I wanted was for that little guy to go into something. I didn't care what it was, but I needed to be able to... He is small, but he is bigger than my Australises. Okay. So, all I had was black sand. I don't plan on keeping him on black sand it on black sand but for now it is what I'm gonna have to do so let's see if we can get a closer shot on this guy for you nope okay so we're gonna go to the next one all right so the next one is going to be the second instar Parabuthus transvelicus. Okay. For those of you that do not know <clears throat> why it says hot, those are designated for the higher venom level scorpions. Um, so. I don't really know who that, it helps me <laughs> and I know some people don't know I know I didn't know until you know a couple weeks ago even though I'd already had said hot scorpions um, I guess it was just more of like a kind of a slang to me well obviously it is a type of slang but yeah okay so let's see what the second instar looks like and Mike, oh, I see him right there. So I'm actually, he actually crawled in in transit way down in there. So, oh, he's a fatty. There I go saying he again. It is a fatty. Um, I believe these are also called the, what is it, South African Fat Tail, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong. Um, like I've said before, I am always open to criticism or corrections, as long as the corrections are justified and correct, of course. So this one, I'm actually going to put this guy in a smaller cup. So 
he'll go in that. Um, let's see if we can coax him it fairly easily, unlike <laughs> the Death Stalker. And this guy is really chubby. I wonder if maybe close to third in star. Come on, little guy. I know. Don't want to, but kind of have to. Oh yeah, extra fat. I actually do think this one might might be in pre molt, so do not be surprised if it does not eat on uh on Sunday's mass feeding. And he has decided that he wants to stay on that, of course. Come on, get off. There you go, little chunky monkey. Look at that deal. May not be amazing to some people, and sometimes, yeah, I'm definitely guessing pre-molt on this one. Look at how those plates are spread out. How fat he is on the side. Oh, yeah. Um, I know to some people that it's, it's a bug. But these guys have been around for so long. And, I mean, they're just so simple. When you get really up close and you look at all the joints and and you see that there's really not much to them, but they're perfect at doing what they do. Like I've said in my very first video, I've always enjoyed nature and how it does what it does just to survive. And yeah, it's one of those amazing things to me. Okay. So we will move on to the third instar Parabuthus transvelicus um, I imagine it'll probably be a little bit bigger than this one I don't think much because like I said I think this, that this one is in pre-molt and obviously they do they do gain size when they molt but my guess is it won't be much bigger I am also picking up the Hapalopus columbia species large in about an hour and a half I am supposed to meet him so um, I think if I am gonna do a rehouse video on them like I've, I said in my last video if they can stay and molt in their current enclosure that I do receive them in then uh, I'll probably leave them in there but if I do happen to do a rehouse video I think I'm gonna wait a couple days um, maybe Saturday work has been kicking my butt and I'm a little tired the only reason I am doing this today is because I was not even expecting these and especially the death stalker I've I've wanted one ever since I heard about it I think everybody that gets into scorpions death stalker is on their list to get um, anybody that I have ever seen that has a large collection collection or larger collection do have death stalkers and a lot of them do not only have one um, this <laughs> This was an impulse buy. I definitely did not plan on uh, getting these guys, but I found both of them. I've wanted both of them, and I did not have either of them, obviously. And they were a good price, so I decided to jump on it. Okay, so third instar P transvelicus. All right. It's always amazing. I'm not as nervous as I was when I first started opening these little cups. Um, but 
<laughs> definitely doesn't mean that I have uh, let my guard down at all. I already see this one and he, it is, eh, I can't really tell if it's angry looking or not, but like I said, I treat them all the same. They can all tag you and some of the ones that tag you will put a hurting on you. So let us see, once again, double tonging. Oh, oh, sorry. Huh, that one is a little bit bigger. Okay, let me get that in there for you. So there's a third N-Star P Transvelicus. Um, I think, let me see. Mm. All right, I've decided to put this in another one of these 16 ounce deli cups. So let's see if we can't get this one out of here too. Let's see if this will be the easiest one out of all the three that I've had to deal with. today. <laughs> Let's get that a little clearer for it so that it can just go straight off and hopefully will not go into the folds. Okay, let's see. You're going to be aggressive. Are you going to go down? Are you going to go up? What are you going to do? Hmm. My guess is you're going to be aggressive. Yeah. Or at least on guard. Come on. You can even climb on there if you want to. I never know if I'm being too gentle or not gentle enough, um, but they just seem to be more annoyed than anything. I'm going to see if I can't cut some of that off and get that out of there. don't have as much tissue to work with. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier. Look at that. <laughs> that worked out perfect. And maybe if we can even, as long as we're careful. Okay. Now we can just move this little guy off here. So I guess all three of these guys wanted to be difficult today, but that is okay. There you go. All right. So here's a third end star. P. Transvelicus. Look at that fat little tail on him. Oh yeah. So, alright. Like I've said maybe a couple times in this video, they will not be on black sand. I, I just need to go to the store and get some play sand. And I will end up switching that out. And the second and star P. Transvelicus will probably get an enclosure like this, a 16 ounce deli cup, um, after it molts. So, which will be cool because if it does molt, that will be the first, the first scorpion molt since I've started collecting. And I have not been able to, obviously, since I haven't had one, I haven't been able to see that or even look at an actual molt up close of them. Um, so, all right. 
So, yeah, that's it for today. We I do not feed my inverts on the day that I first get them. So we will try to feed them on Sunday. Um, I will attempt to feed the fat second instar P. transvelicus, but I really doubt it's going to eat. If it doesn't, then almost sure of pre-molt. Those plates are pretty spread. It's either overfed or... Uh, or molting. So my bets on molting, the other two look perfectly fine and not overfed. They look like they were fed as they should be. So we will go ahead. Oh, the, what was his name? One second. Um, Jason Brantley uh, is the guy that sold me these. And thank you. You're awesome for the freebie as well. Uh, definitely was not expecting that. That is my first freebie in my collection, or since I have started collecting. So that's also really exciting. Um, maybe not to some, but it is for me. I always love uh, free stuff. I'm not rich. So anybody who isn't rich, you know what I'm talking about. Um, let's see. Like I said, Hapalopus, Columbia species large. Picking those up here soon. And I will... They'll be in a video. Either it'll be Saturday for a rehouse, maybe, or it will be Sunday during the mass feeding. So um, we have that, that, and yeah. Uh, subscribers, thank you very much. Uh, you're awesome. And we will see you next time.